All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Seven days until the 2024 Worldwide Download Celebration officially starts. Um, I saw some, I mean, I guess we call it speculation, but, you know, probably very accurate, that it does seem like Broly and presumably Super Saiyan Goku will be next to him. Uh, they are going to be dropping, you know, presumably as soon as the celebration does officially begin, actually. So, I mean, that's one... Um, kind of like annoyance that Global had at the start of their um, anniversary, right? Is anniversary starts in as two days. So it looks like that's not going to be an issue here. Now, what I do like doing these videos, Rick Gresh recommended this to me a couple of years ago, I think leading up to the seventh anniversary, eighth anniversary, something like that. And so I've just been doing videos for, you know, kind of like the countdown images. So let's just jump in and wha-bam, Garlic Jr. Seven days to go. Not five, Garlic Jr. He's holding up five, it's seven. Uh, I want to try and do this in the hardest fight in the game. Now, this vid these are for fun. Okay. You got it? I let me tell you what. I don't think we're going to win. Okay. I don't think we're winning, man. Okay. I I just don't think I don't think we're winning. This is not a good rotation. Um there is one character on the team who is not movie bosses. As long as we didn't have Cell Max next to Garlic Jr., we'd be good. But guess what we got? Immediately. Of course. Two seconds into the video. Now, Garlic Jr., I think, could be an interesting EZA. Oh, by the way, we don't actually have movie bosses Garlic Jr. in Dokkan yet. I think, like, you know, Dead Zone Domain or something like that will show up eventually. But remember, this guy is not movie bosses. And, again, I Cell Max, you know, he does have one negative, which is his restrictions. The entire rest of the team is movie bosses. Of course, we get Cell Max and Garlic Jr. next to each other. So we got to float Garlic Jr. off. Um, I would love to float Turles here, but... Bro, I can't... I, I Hold on. I, I'm i sorry. I know this is a Garlic Jr. video, but, like, the game hates me, man. What do you want me to do? I, I'm i sorry. The game hates me, dude. <laughs> like, it, it hates me. Turles must get super attacks. Like, I, I have to get supers with Turles, man. I can't... So, I mean, unfortunately, we might miss a super attack with Garlic Jr., but I, I literally could do nothing about it. Like, I I we, I we don't want to waste Cell Max's two turns of guard, his intro. I want to get him fully built up as quickly as we can. Turles has got to be super attacking. Uh, by the way, I'm sure some dum-dum would go, where is the EZA LR Turles on your team? <laughs> well, they, they're not out. They don't come out for days. So, that's the answer there. All right, um, so again, we're going to lose a lot in here. Um, I mean, I just started out with a run. I mean, we've got Garlic Jr. on a 200% leader skill. That's the reason I chose to run double Harutagarn. Um, the problem with this fight, what what makes this fight, oof, boy, like a super mega ultimate kind of like noob stomping fight, what makes it that is the dodge canceling phase. I mean, when you have, like, weaker teams and shit like that, we just have no answer for the dodge-canceling boss. Uh, there's... Uh, we have no answer. By the way, do you guys like Broly? Slot 7 means, you know, transforming with him is going to be ridiculously difficult. Okay. Yeah, things not really going so well with this initial run. You know what? I'm looking at that 10-minute mark very fondly. I'm very lovingly looking at the 10-minute mark. Man. Get me there, please. The Garlic Jr. one is going to be a little bit vicious. Now, let's take a look at Garlic Jr.'s categories. Like, can I can I get this boy on a stronger, like, setup? Um, He is on Transformation Boost. So we could just run Broly's actual team. I think we'll do that. This is kind of an initial... Oh, we got, like, a 200%... Don't lock Broly. Okay. Uh, Again, th this is why, when it comes to this fight... I typically will see people, I mean, just kind of like bait around and they go, oh, Broly's the best character in the game for the fight. No, because 17 could just lock him right there and insta-kill him, right? So, I mean, if you could get locked and insta-killed by 17, you are ineligible uh, for best character in the game for this fight. Just letting y'all know very plainly. Um, we need to be safe against this guy before I'm willing to say you're the best character in the game for the fight. Uh, we're going to have to miss out on... Big bad bosses for Turles and Cell Max. I mean, I can't put Broly in slot two. Yeah, let's do this. Cell Max can be a bit iffy for this fight. Um. Here, let, let's. I mean, I'll. 
I want to try and do my best to get Broly Chai and Lemo orbs as well, but I, you know, it, it's just, it's it's brutal. It's it's kind of kind of kind of brutal. Movie bosses is not like completely where I would like to see it, right? Like at movie bosses, we still need um, quite a bit for movie bosses. Uh, like we need like glue characters, right? Like I think Harudagarn as like the sixth unit on the team would be fine actually. Um, but like double Harudagarn, I mean he's in too. So obviously we're just like this is not a run we can really win. I guess we could, um, at Cassell Max and Broly they could combo to mostly annihilate Seventeen and Golden Frieza immediately. But a lot of these characters, like Turles and stuff like that, um, just are not really able to handle uh, the big boys, really. Like, Turles against um, that final phase? I don't know. Now, remember, Garlic Jr., at, like, the skeleton of his... Oh, well, that's GG. I think. Yeah, he's very bad. Um, we didn't get a super attack with Garlic Jr. there, did we? Garlic Jr. didn't even attack in that one. I think, uh, we'll hop right back in. I would like to at least have Garlic Jr. do something on the 200% leader skill. I might not even do another run. I mean, this is, it's, no matter what, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. Yeah, we'll just hop in like this. No equips. Rainbow with no equips. Very bizarre. I do like that dodge build, though, so I, I will try not to complain too much. Oh, beautiful. There we go. There we go. There we go. Broly not in slot 7. Cell Max not in the same rotation as what's-his-name. Now we're really looking good. That is looking good for us. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's just have Cell Max get built up. That's pretty big, of course, always. Uh, I'll just ignore yeah some of that. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, a lot of these videos are going to be really tough because we're going to go into the Goku and Frieza fight constantly uh, for these. So, we, I mean, we are going to be getting messed up. I mean, characters like Dr. Wheelow, Terralis, who has already died instantly. Um, like, you know, he he is one of them. Uh, LR, SDR, Cooler, Metal Cooler, right? Like, we're, we're going to have some issues. I probably don't need to force myself to go onto a 200% leader skill, though. Let's just kind of pick kind of like the best best team for winning. Because we could go double Broly, and then it's like Beast Gohan is there, and Blue Gogeta, and Evolution Blue Vegeta. And then we're kind of just using Garlic Jr. as like in a, like a nothing role, right? Like he's just going to kind of be like a, you know, a floater, giving a little bit of support to some of the Brolies. Uh, but I think Garlic Jr. could have a good easy A when he eventually gets it. Because he does have good links for villains. Um, and then, of course, he does already have massive support as well. So all Garlic Jr. really needs is, like, a defensive mechanic, and he could be cooking. Damn, dude. It's so hard to get footage of Garlic Jr. <laughs> it's so hard to get footage of Garlic Jr. They have a sliver? That's unfortunate. What's What's the build looking like? Huh. This is like, you know, when he first came out type of stuff. I guess I could have upgraded his equips before we started the video. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm not going to put him in slot one. Let's just do this. Let's get as many same type orbs as possible to heal up. Uh, Because Broly, I mean, he could take a little bit of damage. I probably should have given the tech orbs for defense. Just in case they super right away. All right, we're all right. All right, don't worry. We're gonna get the we're gonna get footage of Garlic Jr. attacking. Garlic Jr. is supporting right here, so he is affecting things. Remember, he does give Extreme Class Allies three key forty percent attack and defense. Pretty good. Hmm. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We can get Cell Father and Saw One. That's good. Wait, that fell down, so we got a super attack with Turles. And then Harutagarn could dodge at the end. Um, so for us to win, uh, kind of like the biggest thing we would need to do, like, could this team, could we win 
Yes, because of Sal Max and Broly. Sal Max and Broly are both so dominant that we could actually win with this team easily, easily. But it's just we need, like, you know, things to break exactly the right way. Um, in order to win, we would need to use Cell Max's active against 17 and Golden Frieza. 100%. Cell Max would have to carry us through that phase, which he can. Um, and then after that, it would be up to Broly. The Broly Cell Max combo to finish Goku and Frieza. So that the, the way it would play out perfectly is 17 and Golden Frieza, turn one. We have Cell Max and Broly. We Cell Max active skill, Broly and Cell Max kill. Then we have one turn against Goku and Frieza. We survive. And Turles is so bad, dude. He's so awful. Um, and then if we survive one turn against Goku and Frieza, Cell Max and Broly can effortlessly and easily kill Goku and Frieza in one turn. Not even tough. Cell Max and Broly, right? So that is a, a true way we could win this. Bro, I can't. I cannot get footage of, of Garlic Jr. I can't. I, there's nothing I can... I cannot do anything about it, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's very hard in here. My God. So, dude, I... I, <laughs> I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't even get footage of him attacking, man. I don't know. We got to get his... Can I, maybe I'll just play his animation on the on the Thieving Six wiki. We saw his animation, guys. We saw it. All right. Um, dude, he really had to lock Garlic Jr. In last slot. We just got very unlucky because, like, in this run, you know, of course, the first run there was no key. This run, we keep, you know, Cell Max is getting the boss to like a sliver of HP because now Broly is gonna kill Seventeen right here. Could this, I don't, th this is not, I don't think we can win this run uh, because of where Broly and Cell Max started out. And uh, you can't really fix rotations, um, or, or to, you know, to what you want to do in this fight. Like, I would have wanted to float Broly off to get him next to Cell Max right there, but I, I, I couldn't do that because Garlic Jr. is locked. That's why, like, I, you know, I just see people say, oh my god, what are these rotations looking at this fight? Like, Please just tell me you're a clown. Like, you know, just get that clown makeup off, please. Like, let's, there's locking in the effing fight, man. Oh, my God. Broly choked, which means we get Garlic Jr. footage. Look at the god. Oh, my God. Down you go, 17. Ah! Oh, my God. Okay. No, we're going to waste our ability. Shit, dude. Uh, I mean, we have to... Uh, yeah, well, we lost... I think, you know what, guys? Seven days! Seven days until the until the Worldwide Download Celebration. I think I might end right here. Again, I could have, we could have ran, you know, Double Broly and, you know, Beast Gohan, Evolution Blue Vegeta every turn and then just, like, Float Garlic Jr., of course. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, we could string it together getting through all these phases. But then once we get here, this godforsaken phase, eh, bro. Uh, yeah, I don't know that there's... I could transform, huh? Uh, um, yeah, there's no way. It's, it's, it's just, it's just over. I mean, I, I will use the transformation with Broly. I, the, the problem here is even if... Even if they don't super, Harutagarn can't do anything here. This is going to be the rare turn where it's not even Harutagarn's fault, either. Um, I think his defense is going to be higher in base, actually. Now, unfortunately, that buffs 17 and Golden Frieza. Could Broly kill? Probably not. Yeah, let's see. Let's, let's just, let's just uh, have faith here. Broly, of course, significantly better after we transform with him. So he's no longer mediocre. Now he's really good, Broly. I don't think, like, just the way it's set up, I don't think Broly is going to be enough to kill them in one volley, though. Right? Like, opening rotations is going to play a huge... Like, when it comes to a really bad team in here, opening rotations is going to matter a lot. Um, I, I mentioned that that's kind of, like, the direction that Dokkan is going. 
is they're kind of, you know, like opening up, opening rotation RNG to be more important, bigger than ever. Kind of like a huge thing that they're doing. All right, nice. Um, and I, I know people don't like that. And I mean, I, I would agree. It, it, it does feel shitty in conjunction with attempt limits, but that's, I think, what Dokkan is going for, right? Uh, most of the times, I'm not the biggest fan of the term artificial difficulty, but I think it's used correctly when we use the, when we describe like attempt limits would be artificial difficulty. Like, I think that's a proper use of that term is, is point, uh, attempt limits. And that's what Dokkan is kind of doing. Like, you know, we're going to give Broly and UI Goku the worst transformation conditions ever where you could get cocked if they start in slot seven. And then we're going to combo that with these bosses. Yeah, damn. We could have survived one hit, but not two. All right. Well, there we go. I mean, that was kind of like a mo that, that This is a movie bosses run. This is what movie bosses looks like right now. Now, to be fair, I even in a couple of days, this would change dramatically. Let's just go by movie bosses. Uh, the team we were using, well, that was movie bosses plus Garlic Jr. was Resurrected Warriors. That was what we used. This is the movie bosses roster. It's just um, because, you know, Dokkan, we get a huge, massive power creep. Beerus is not relevant. Golden Frieza, not relevant. Janemba, not relevant. Cooler, not relevant. Android 13, not relevant. Like, we have, like, almost no version. DBZ Broly, not relevant. Yeah, I mean, in, in a week he's going to be. But, uh, like, all those characters just have no relevance on movie bosses right now. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. So there was day one with Garlic Jr. Um, seven days until the celebration. I, again, I am very excited for, where is he? Right. Where he's not a movie bosses. So I'm silly. Uh, the other category we used for this video was resurrected warriors here. This is where Garlic Jr. Is. Um, I'm very excited for him to get a Dokkan Fest at some point in the future. Not like a Dokkan Fest LR or something like that, but Garlic Jr. Being like the October Dokkan Fest or the April Fool's Dokkan Fest, right? The Halloween Dokkan Fest, like one of these kind of like smaller celebrations. Um, I do think Garlic Jr. could handle, he, he'd be fine at Dokkan Fest for one of those from the movie, right? Because this is from the filler arc against Kid Gohan. Um, I think we should get a Garlic Jr. Dokkan Fest at some point. So let me know what you guys think. Seven days until the 2024 Worldwide Download Celebration.